G'day, and welcome to today's Bottom Up Boats episode, where we take a look at the outside ASAL jibe, explaining when you should use this maneuver, and then showing you how to execute it. In today's video, we're gonna take you through the five main things to consider before deciding whether you jibe the ASAL on the outside or on the inside. We're then gonna have a look at a graphic with the different maneuvers that you'll have to coordinate to make it successful. Before we then show you an ASAL jive and the individual crew positions and what they can do to coordinate a successful jive. The first two factors to consider are the gap between the forestay and the luff of your ASAL and whether or not your jib is up and down. If the gap is relatively small and then you're reaching without a head saw, it's advised to jibe on the outside, because if you jibe on the inside, the chances are the sail will get caught up around the forestay. If you have a relatively small gap and the jib is down, you may be able to jibe on the inside if the apparent winged angle is far enough forward. In many of our modern boats, like the TP-52s, this is possible. But in older boats that are converted to using an A-sail, Generally, the apparent wind is not far enough forward to allow you to jibe on the inside. If the first three settings are telling you to jibe on the outside, you need to make sure that your sheet length is long enough to go round the front of the boat and not cause an issue by having the sail set as you're halfway through the jibe. And the final thing is the wind speed. If you generally jibe on the outside, you may be able to do it on the inside if the conditions are light enough. But as the speed increases, you should continue to jibe on the outside if the first three settings dictate that is best for your boat. So now that we've determined that we're going to do the jibe on the outside, let's take a look at an example with the wind coming from right to left. The boat approaches the mark and gets ready for the jibe. As it gets level with the mark, you want to bear the boat away through the jibe. As you do this, you want to Trim on the main, which allows the wind to pass around the backside, pushing the ASAL forward as you release the spinnaker sheet. As the spinnaker gets in front of the boat, you then want to turn the boat through the jibe, releasing the windward sheet and pulling on the new sheet, then easing the main to get yourself going on the new jibe. Now that we've seen how it works in theory on the graphics, let's take a look at a practical example in a MUM36, this time with the breeze coming left to right as we approach the jibe mark. The spinnaker trimmer gets the sheet freed up and eases the sheet as the skipper starts to bear away. The main sheet trimmer centers the main, allowing the wind to blow the sail out in front of the boat. As they complete the jibe and release the windward sheet, Trimming on the new spinnaker sheet, setting yourself up on the new jibe. Now that we've seen the team coordinate all of their efforts to pull off a seamless ASAL jibe, let's take a look at the individual crew positions and see what they do to prepare for the perfect jibe. Prior to the jibe, the spinnaker trimmer makes sure that the old sheet is free and ready to run so that it releases easily as we go through the jibe. The main sheet man centers the boom in synchronized motion as the skipper bears the boat away, allowing the spinnaker to go forward as the boat turns through the jibe. The bowman plays a key role as you go through the jibe. He's best placed to tail the new spinnaker sheet pulling it around and making sure that the spinnaker does not get caught on the forestay. Finally, the pitman or a spare crew member tails the new spinnaker sheet as the bowman pulls it around, handing it off to the spinnaker trimmer once he's released the old sheet so that he's quickly in place and set up to race on the new job. So that concludes today's video. I hope you now understand the five factors to consider before deciding what type of ASAL jibe to use and you know the different 
positions on the boat and what they can do to help make your crew successful when they execute one. If you liked today's video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to make sure you get all the latest updates from Bottom Up Boats.